Good late Tuesday evening. I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly on this April 3rd of 2018. We had another interesting day where we started out with our highs in the morning and then thanks to a front passing through, temperatures did nothing but take a tumble as we went throughout the course of the day. We're going to have a cold night ahead of us, but we'll at least finally have a few nice days to dry up before we see another system work on in. Let me take you outside. There's the view from 7th and Range Line. It was cloudy as could be to start the day with some rain passing around the area. At the very least, we are looking calmer, a lot calmer now than how we started the day. 69, our morning high for this April 3rd, and then the coldest we've been so far is 37 degrees. The airport picking up oh, three hundredths of an inch officially. That takes us to almost three tenths of an inch of rain for the month so far, and pushing eight inches for the year so far. As far as current conditions go, last check at about 1049, it was 37 in Joplin with a north breeze at 12. That does bring a bit of a bite to the air along with it. It makes it feel like 29 outside. Thankfully, we are going to see that breeze lighten up as we go throughout the night, so it won't be so windy if you're trying to have a peaceful night's sleep ahead of you. Looking at temperatures this morning, everybody started out in the lower to middle 60s overall. Then you can easily tell where that cold front was as it started to push on through this morning. This was at about 10 o'clock. If you were basically from, oh, let's say, Nevada, uh, Parsons, Independence, South and East, you were still on the warm side of this front while temperatures were dropping quite a bit on the back side of things. By the time we got to the end of the, uh, the lunch hour, around 1 o'clock, everybody was on the back side of this front, and we saw temperatures primarily in the 40s for the bulk of the afternoon, thanks to cloud cover that was a bit stubborn to let go. But now we're seeing the cloud cover break apart when you couple that with the light breeze that we'll have through the overnight, and along with nothing to pop up in the Skywatch Storm Tracker, that will mean temperatures go into the 20s tonight. For some of you, that will mean a hard freeze, with uh, freeze warnings out in the blue until 10 o'clock at the latest going into your Wednesday morning. Again, it doesn't really matter if you're under the freeze warning or not. It's going to be a cold night for everybody, with temperatures planning on dropping into the middle to upper 20s before we start warming up again on Wednesday. Let me take you to the, back to the map with the Skywatch Storm Tracker. This is the radar loop going back over the past 12 hours. Funny enough, we actually had uh, late in the morning, early in the afternoon, at least a chance for some scattered rain and even some thunderstorms to develop right on top of the area. But before they really got going, they f thankfully moved off to the east, leaving us pretty quiet as far as rain or thunderstorms go. So what happened with that line of thunderstorms? This is what it did. It has caused quite a bit of severe weather for parts of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, the boot heel of Missouri, and it's continuing into the overnight across the uh, Tennessee Valley and going up to the Ohio River Valley. Then on the cold side of the system, you have snow, stretching from the Chicago area all the way through the both the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan, and then working across uh, the the rest of the Great Lakes and clipping the far northeastern parts of the United States. You can see by the wind particles, though, we are on the back side of the system. And that is why we are seeing the northwest breeze. So we're going to say goodbye to this system, and we'll let high pressure take over with our north breeze. Thankfully, it'll be a lighter breeze by the time you wake up in the morning. And thankfully, with the high pressure in control, that means we will have a lot more sunshine, certainly a lot more compared to what we've seen over the past few days, which was very little, to be quite frank. As far as temperatures go, plan on everybody starting out cold. We're talking about, uh, let's say, middle to upper 20s for overnight lows. This future track here gives us a pretty good idea of where everybody's going to start. Most of us around 27 degrees. Even though we start cold, we have that light northwest breeze and quiet skies to start the morning out. Thankfully, mostly sunny skies will prevail as we go throughout the course of the day ahead. 44 by lunchtime with the south breeze coming back in the afternoon. That'll be enough to get us back to 50 for an afternoon high in Joplin. Across the rest of the area, everybody should be right around the 50 degree mark. So we will definitely rebound after we get past quite a frigid start for your Wednesday. Going into the Wednesday night, lows drop to 39. 60 degrees for your Thursday, despite partly sunny skies, we'll have a mild Thursday. So Wednesday and Thursday, two days with quite a bit of sunshine, that does not sound bad. But let me take your attention to Friday, because after we start with 41 degrees in the morning, we'll watch for our next system to work in, and 
maybe cause a little bit of havoc with us. You can see how we start Friday morning out with not a lot happening. We start again in the lower 40s. We'll gradually up the cloud cover once we get past the morning drive going into Friday. Then as we go into the afternoon, you see how the future track wants rain chances to really blossom up with temperatures at least trying to go into the 50s for Friday afternoon. But we need to keep an eye on the system because there's still some disagreement about when we're going to see the colder air with the system work in. If we see the colder air working and we still have precip around with the system, we could see a rain snow mix going into Friday evening, and it could end us a few light snow showers going into Saturday morning. So none of this is set in stone yet. We need to keep an eye on how the temperatures look to set up as they go into Friday and even going into Friday night and Saturday morning. So that's our next system we're going to keep an eye on as we head into the coming weekend. At the very least, whatever's around Saturday morning will be gone. Saturday afternoon looks calm and partly sunny with highs only near 43. We're back to 47 on Sunday with maybe another system sneaking in a few rain showers in here. Then by early next week, Monday, Tuesday, highs both days in the mid-50s, and hopefully we'll start the next work week and school week out on a quiet note. Have a good night. Have a great Wednesday.